Hello. Today I'd like to talk about patriotism versus one world governance or being a global citizen. Just finished watching a History Channel pick from YouTube of comics in which they decry patriotism as people thinking that they're better than other people because they're born in this specific country and they're going to use that pride to go out and kill and beat up and everything else to everybody else. And this was a pick from the History Channel of their finalists in this contest, their winners. This mentality that somehow loving your country, being proud of it, means you hate everybody else and you're going to go crush everybody else and force your will upon others is based in a demonization of patriotism. Probably linked to the World War II Nazi movement. It also operates on the false premise that we're all one. That all the world's nations and all the world's people have the exact same interests the exact same goals, the exact same wishes in life, the exact same methods of getting there, and that if everyone just gave up on the nations and became one people under one global government, peace and happiness would reign. Which of course is a total lie. Why? It goes back down to the common mistake that a lot of people make that centralized government is the best. The bigger and more centralized the government and ruling body is, the more it represents the people and the more it can do to help you get along. That is contrary to any historical evidence. All power in like a dictatorship where you have a small core group of people who run the whole show or monarchy same deal. I've demonstrated how centralized power becomes abusive. And a perfect example of this problem of globalization is the same problem of um, uh, big government. That you have the idea that you're going to centralize all power. Well, the larger the group and the smaller the centralized power, or the larger the group and the more concentrated the centralized power, the less representative it is of the people on the local level. The brilliance of the original design for the United States was the United States. The states were supposed to be a significant force in the politics and the structure of America. And the government, the federal government, was supposed to be a secondary force to handle interactions between the states and foreign policy. That has been switched around. Now the states are almost an, almost meaningless in the United States. And there's movements among the globalists to duplicate this, make the nation's governments equivalent to the states of the United States, and make something like the UN the global government. Now people in the United States on the local level get barely any real representation in D.C. anymore. Most of them distrust the federal government by about 80% in most polls. Now you think that's bad, do that on a global scale, and you think that person in a small village in some country somewhere is going to get represented by somebody sitting in the Hague by, and on some ground gov world government. You think that military is going to actually care about the needs and, the, and et cetera of the local small village? Are they going to do the same thing they do in large governments? Keep themselves in power. It all boils down to the difference between liberals and conservatives. Liberals are and tend to be statists. They believe the state is the cure for all problems. It has to be there all the time. And conservatives are individualists. We believe in the individual. We believe in empowering them and getting government out of their way. Many people can do great things if left alone. We trust people, they don't. And that is why we can honestly call them elitists. But this is a problem. History Channel and the liberals have yet again used their position, their programming to promote their politics. No big surprise, but they won't tell you that they're doing it, and they'll lie when it's uncovered. Thank you very much, and have yourself a good day.